What are tugboats and how do they work? Tugboats are small, powerful boats capable of steering large ships by pulling or pushing them. They are used to assist these ships in places, where they are unable to maneuver themselves, such as, narrow water channels, and ports. What is a tugboat? If you've ever taken a water ferry, you will appreciate the fact that even when the boats are moored to the bollards at the jerry, they keep bobbing up and down, and sometimes even sway sideways. Large ships, while stable in the open seas, cannot navigate accurately through shallow waters, or narrow channels. The uncertainty of movement due to water currents in narrow areas, such as harbors and ports, leave little room for course correction. This can cause the ship to collide and result in expensive damage. Thus, small yet extremely powerful boats are deployed to help assist larger vessels. These boats, known as tugs or tugboats, serve several important functions. How do tugboats work? Tugboats employ one of three methods to haul vessels many times their size. 1. Direct towing. Direct towing involves a powerful motor aboard the tugboat, known as a winch. This motor connects to a towing line carried aboard the vessel that is to be pulled. When a stable connection is established, the tug leads the way by pulling the vessel behind it. 2. Indirect towing. In case of indirect towing, tugboats push the larger vessels on their hull, thereby rotating them around their vertical axis and changing their course. Indirect towing can later be accompanied by direct towing. However, if the vessel has been directed sufficiently to be able to propel itself further, there is no need for further towing assistance. 3. Pushing. While indirect towing involves pushing only for course correction, certain vessels must be pushed all the way, it being their only means of propulsion. Pushing tugs are often equipped with reinforced hulls and bumpers, that fit into a receptacle in the stern of the vessel being pushed. With buoyancy working in their favor, tugboats do not need much effort to overcome the initial inertia of moving large ships. However, they are strong structures assisted by powerful propulsion systems, that are fitted either towards the bow, or directly at the stern of the ship. The propulsion systems found in tugboats come in three types. 1. Simple screw propulsion. This system consists of a propeller fan encased in a fixed cowl and a movable rudder. This is an extremely low maintenance system found in older tugs. The biggest drawback of this system is that it is unidirectional, making it difficult to change course easily. In addition, the arrangement does not generate enough thrust to handle modern container and cruise ships, which has rendered this obsolete. 2. As a muffle drive propulsion. Instead of fixing propeller fans to the hull of the ship, they are fitted to a motorized pod, that can be rotated by a horizontal angle, known as the azimuth. By steering the pod, the tugboats can change direction very quickly without the need for a rudder. This makes them agile and more suited to handling container vessels. 3. Foyt Schneider Propulsion This is an emerging technology, that integrates steering and propulsion in one unit, by means of a cyclo-rotating arrangement. A cyclo-rotor is a squirrel cage-like structure with individually rotating blades. Thrust is achieved by changing the speed of the entire rotor, whereas the direction of propulsion can be changed by changing the angle of the blades. This system is less complicated, and even more agile than the azimuth drive propulsion. Types of tugboats Tugboats can be classified broadly into inland tugs and ocean-going tugs. Inland tugs Inland tugs refer to tugs that operate in relatively shallow waters. They can be classified as follows. 1. Harbor tugs. Harbor tugs are responsible for the berthing of large ships in and out of harbors, ports, and narrow water channels. These tugboats generally operate by pulling the larger vessels using a steel or synthetic fiber hawser. 2. River tugs. As their name suggests, these tugs can either tow or push barges in and around seas. While they are quite powerful and can push multiple barges connected together, their hull design makes them dangerous in oceanic settings. Ocean-going tugs. Ocean tugs are engineered to work in deep sea settings. They can be classified as follows. 1. Conventional tugs. Unlike other ocean tugboats that cater to dumb vessels, conventional tugboats can push or pull all types of vessels. They can do so by either towing or pushing these bigger vessels. Some crafts can even attach to the sides of these vessels. Due to their versatility of application, conventional tugs are most suited to salvage operations. 
By making a few modifications to their bow and hull, they can also be used for icebreaking operations. 2. Barge tugs. Due to the nature of the payload on barges, it is easier to push, rather than tow them. Barges therefore have a notch in their body that accommodates a dedicated barge tug. These tugs are either independent of, or attached to the barge by means of an articulated mechanism. Some are even integrated with the barge, by means of a rigid connection.